Go fight China on your own. Get out. If you film in public, you've got to have thick skin because eventually someone's gonna say something about it. But according to the law of large numbers, eventually someone's going to get annoyed and offended, maybe even enraged. And that's what happened to me, and I've got it all on film. I filmed in the streets, subways, parks, restaurants, you name it. And some people have turned to the camera and smiled and even waved. That's fantastic. But some people get the wrong idea when you're filming in public. Your intentions are entirely harmless, but it only takes one person to misunderstand what's happening. And a stranger might mistake what you're doing and do something about it. And that's exactly what happened to me in the busy subway lines of South Korea. It's important to note that generally, you're free to film whatever you want in a public space without limit but there are some exceptions. In South Korea, there's a law translated as the right to face law, which protects citizens from having their faces published without consent. This may seem odd to you, but Koreans are quite sensitive about it. I happen to be filming interesting aspects of the subway soul system, keeping this law in mind when a man in his 30s stopped me and asked what I was doing. He tried to force me to stop and even started filming me, which I thought was ironic, and in direct conflict with the issue he was having. Here are a few clips of what happened. Go fight China on your own. Yeah. Get out. Go for it. Touch, me, touch me, touch me, touch no, me. Go fight all. China on, on your own. I that's know your all. country. Gyeongchal is there. This don't person is in my face. Or American who, who, don't watch yourself. The misunderstanding here is he thought I was breaking the law when in reality I was well within my rights to film. I wasn't focusing on people's faces, nor was I intending on publishing anything inappropriate. And he simply didn't understand the law, which is common. We're not all lawyers, right? Luckily, the police arrived, assessed the situation, and let me go on my merry way. From there, three other officers surrounded that particular man, while another officer kindly led me away from the scene. And as we walked away, he looked at me and said in broken English, this man's a little crazy. I agree, you never know how people are going to react. So stay calm, be respectful, and be prepared. You know what, I'm curious. Yep. Have you ever had an experience like this? If so, what did you do about it? Let me know in the comments. I'm an American. What about the laws in the USA? The exact laws vary from state to state, so it depends on the situation. The general idea is that when you're in public, it's legal to film someone as long as they don't have what's called a reasonable expectation of privacy. And generally in public, you do not have a reasonable expectation of privacy, so you can record. People can record you and you can record people within reason. But keep in mind, this is not legal advice and I'm certainly not a lawyer. You'll need to do your own homework for the nation and or state where you're filming. But what if what happened to me happens to you? What should you do at that moment? Keep the golden rule in mind. Stop filming. Let them know that you were not intentionally filming them. And if you accidentally got them on film, you'll erase it. Take a break and start filming again once that person is no longer around. See ya. Again, stay calm and be respectful because you don't want something like this to happen to you. And make sure to watch this video here for more helpful info on mobile video. See you next time.